Okay, this is a little guy named Frankenstein, and uh, this is a uh, probably the world's ugliest pulse motor. But uh, it was unusual because I was trying to figure out a way to uh, power up one of these solar or light operated Mendocino type motors and actually put power into it. And it, it went around and around in circles until I finally ended up with a, a, a pulse motor that I hadn't built before. It's hanging from a needle. The same kind of thing as that over there. Only um, this one has a super cap on it, has a reed switch, an LED, and then an external power source besides the solar panels. And it gets its power um, right in there. Uh, with the uh, a needle being one of the contact points and then that eccentric uh, brass ring going around there hitting a wire which adds power to the system and uh, I'll stop it in a minute I'll show you why I named it Frankenstein but it was just a cobbling together of parts that uh, just like the Frankenstein monster uh, came alive and uh, it'll run on solar energy. If I take the battery off, it just comes off because it's just magnets on it. It'll run on just solar energy. Or if I preload the super cap down there, it'll run on the super cap energy. Or it'll run on a combination of everything. And this is what he sounds like. And that scratch, scratch, scratch is what's going on up there. Now I can take the scratch, scratch, scratch away and have the uh, reed switch sound just by tipping this platform here. And that's the reed switch going off. And that takes away the friction from the uh, brush point. And all you're hearing is the reed switch opening and closing. And now I got the commutation going on. And there's the uh, LED flashing right there. So anyway, this was uh, this was Frankenstein. Uh, like I say, it was a cobbling together of all kinds of parts that the most ugly cobbled together pulse motor I think I've ever made. But it worked. It came alive. Thanks for watching.